Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Katia tutorial number 5. In this tutorial, we will learn about different type of circle profiles in the Sketcher Workbench like simple circle, three point circle, tritangent circle, three point arc and an arc. So on the left hand side, we have Katia V5 window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. So let's start by creating a new file, go to start, mechanical design, part design give a file name to your file as i'm giving it jimmy so new file with file name jimmy will be created select any plane from the part tree as i am selecting yz plane or you can select any plane from here also by clicking on the plane as it's zx plane and then selecting the sketcher tool so now we have entered into the sketcher module these are the sketcher tools on the right interface bottom interface and on the top interface this is the circular profile and by clicking at the bottom arrow we will get the different type of circular profiles and by dragging this corner slot with the help of left key of our mouse we can drag it to center of our screen. So this is the simple circle, this is three point circle, this is coordinate circle, this is tritagent circle, this is three point arc, this is three point arc with limits and this is simple arc. Let me draw some figures to show you properly how this circle works. So let's start with a simple circle. So in this we have to define the center point of the circle. We can define the center point by giving horizontal or vertical coordinates or just by defining it randomly anywhere by the mouse. And second thing we have to define the radius of the circle. We can define the radius it from here from the third block as I am giving it 40 mm, enter. So now I can change the radius of the circle by clicking, by double clicking on the radius as I am changing it to 30 mm. Now the radius has been changed to 30 mm. Now moving towards to 3 point circle, just define the first point, second point and third point. A circle coinciding all three points will be formed. Now to the circle with coordinates, Define the coordinates of the circle as I am putting horizontal coordinates at 0, enter. So a circle with center point at origin with radius 10 has been formed. Now moving towards the tritangent circle, select 3 lines and I am selecting the first line, second line and third line. A circle, a common circle with all three, these 3 lines tangent to that circle will be formed. Now moving towards to 3 point arc. Just define the first point which is the starting point of the arc, define the second point which is the midpoint of the arc and define the third point. So we have a three pointer arc or we can define the first point, the second point and we can define the radius also as I am defining the radius by giving it a radius of 30 mm, enter and then as it hasn't worked let me feed it again radius of 50 mm enter like it's not working right now so just we can define it by providing the second first point second point and just providing the third point now moving towards to the arc three point arc with limits provide the first point which is the starting point define the second point which is the end point of the arc and then define the third point which is the middle point of the arc so we have three point arc with limits now moving towards the last option arc just define the middle point of the arc then define the radius of the arc as i can give here radius of 50 mm enter and then so we as i haven't defined the angle right now So now we can define the angle also by just defining the third point. Now our arc with radius 50 mm has been formed. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching this video.